Hey guys, welcome to Champanzy Percussion. If you're new to this channel, welcome! And we're so excited to have you join us. Today, we're going to be learning about key signatures. Now, to understand what a key signature is, you're going to want to look at a set of keys. So, what I have right here is my own set of keys. Each one of these keys is a key to a different room. So, I could have a key to my room, I could have a key to my house, or I can have a car key or even more keys. Now, every time you open up a room or a door, when you walk in, you will notice that things are different. So for example, if you use a key to your room and you open up your room, you will see your bed, you will see your sheets or anything else that you have there that will help you identify that that's your room. Now, if I open my car door, then I will see my seats, I will see my radio, and I will see all the things that will help me identify that that is my car. Now, looking back at a key signature, a key signature will tell you how many flats or sharps you will have whenever you look at your piece of music. You can have anywhere from zero to seven sharps or flats. Now, let's talk about where your key signature is located. If you look right here, you will notice that the key signature is actually located right next to your clef and your time signature. When you have a flat on your key signature, that round section of that B will be telling you what notes are flat in your key signature. Or if you have a sharp in your key signature, that little square in that hashtag will tell you what notes will be sharp. Okay, now that we know how our flat and our sharps look in our key signature, let's talk about the order in which we will see our flats whenever we see them in our key signature. You will always see your flats in this order. B, E, A, D, G, C, and F. The best phrase that you can use to remember the order of your flats is going to be B, greatest common factor. Greatest common factor will be used for the G, C, F. And so, again, if we look at this key signature, we will see that our key signature shows one flat. This one flat will mean that you will only have B flat. So if you have two flats, you will have B and E. If you have three flats, you will have B, E, and A. And as you keep on seeing more flats, you will continue to see these in the order of B, E, A, D, G, C, F. B, greatest common factor. Now, let's look at the order of your sharps. The order of which you're gonna get your sharps is gonna be the opposite of B, greatest common factor. So we will be just flipping those and reading them backwards. So you will start off with F, then you go to C, then you go to G, and then you go to D, then you go to A, E, and then B. So that's gonna be the order of sharps. So let's look at a few examples. So if you look at this one right here, you will notice that we have two sharps. Our two sharps are going to be F and C. So those are going to be our two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So now let's say we have three sharps, just like this. So that means that we will have the three sharps that are going to be F, C, and G. So all of those notes are going to be sharp whenever you see them in your piece of music. Now you might ask yourself, why do we have this key signature when I can just use accidentals? Well, this key signature will help you automatically identify the notes whenever you see them in your piece of music. And thus, you won't have to put all of those accidentals every time. And so, if you have one flat, that means that all your Bs will be flat, whether they're low Bs, they're in the middle of your staff, or above your staff. The same thing will apply with any of your sharps. All that a key signature does is it gives you all the information on which notes are going to be flat or sharp. Well guys, that's all I have for today. Now if you still have any other questions on how to identify your key signatures with flats, sharps, please comment below. Now if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to keep up to date on any new videos I will be posting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to have fun.